Hi, this is the Jay, and today we're going to play some World of Warships. Um, I've just got into the closed beta for this, so I've been playing it a little bit. Got up to tier four, got myself an aircraft carrier. Um, just so basically up to tier four, you start with the aircraft carriers. Uh, let's have a quick look at the tech trees just to go through it. Um, yeah, I haven't had a video up in the last few days. It's just not been very well, so it's the first video I've had up in the last few days. So what we'll do is. So at the moment, there's two tech, uh, two main factions, the USA and Japan. Um, USA do have a ship, but it's just a premium ship. So, mm, there's not really much for that. So, with Japan's line, um, basically you've got cruiser line that goes down here. Cruisers focus mainly on um, lots of guns, I think it mainly was, and maneuverability. Yeah, uh, they're a mix of everything, to be honest. Whereas a destroyer is all well, sorry, destroyers are all about maneuverability and concealment, and torpedoes. They don't really carry as much RT. Um, cruisers are a mix of everything, as you can see. Yeah, they're I think they're AA gun. Or is it the battleships that carry the A guns? No, they don't really have that many. Uh, the Yamato has a few. Yeah, so as you can see, um, so at the moment, the Japanese have three lines. They have the cruisers, the destroyers, and the battleships. Um, destroyers, fast, nimble, and pack a load of torpedoes. Cruisers, uh, just all-rounders. Uh, battleships, heavily armoured sluggers. Uh, lots of guns, and big guns, just for blowing crap up. Uh, USA at the moment, um, they have a cruiser selection, um, destroyer, and aircraft carriers. So, yeah, again, cruisers are balanced, destroyers are more about speed. Aircraft carriers um, do what they say on the team, carry aircraft. Um, basically, they're like the kind of like the artillery of World of Warships from World of Tanks, but they play completely different. Um, they also play completely differently to anything else you play in the game. So, what we'll do is just to show you what they're like, I will jump into a game. Um, also, when you, you've got a leveling up system, so the profile levels up. At level one, you can only do co op battles. So, when you if you get into closed beta, you'll only be able to do co op battles against the bots. Um, but after the first one or two matches, you'll then be able to do, you should get level two and then be able to do random battles. Level 3, you get daily missions, which I haven't got any of at the moment. Um, I completed them yesterday. And then from level 4, you can gain free experience like you do in World of Tanks again. Uh, level 5, you get your crew again for training and stuff. And then level 6, yeah, um, upgrades. I'm not quite sure about. There might be different things that can happen, but I'm really, I don't know about the upgrades because you do get these kind of upgrades for the modules and stuff. So... At the moment, my aircraft carrier has been upgraded to the 1944 variant, um, which adds more AA mounts, secondary guns and stuff. Um, I've upgraded my cutlasses, which are more survivable and better damage, but have less loadout. And then the Martin T-34s and my torpedo bombers I've got. I, you get a choice of the Mark II mod or the Mark III mod. The Mark II mod will give you an extra squadron of fighters, Whereas this one gives you extra torpedo bombers. Um, or you can have that one which gives you extra nothing. And you have less aircraft. I prefer the Mark III because I prefer to have the extra torpedo bombers. Um, bearing in mind, the torpedo bombers themselves, you have to kind of direct where they're going to release their torpedoes. So they take a bit of skill to use. So let's jump into a battle. And I'll show you how the aircraft carrier fly, um, How you use the aircraft carrier. Well, well, there are quite a lot of people in tier fours now. Ooh, there's a lot of aircraft carriers. I was playing this earlier. There was like two or three aircraft carriers, but as people were coming out of the bottom runs, they're getting into this. So, in this match, it's mainly tier four and tier three. So we're top tier, which is always nice. There's no tier fives. It's basically got the same type of tier system as World of Tanks. Well, they. They've basically just run on the system that they know best, and it works. It's, so far, for a closed beta, it's really good. Um, shooting ships, 
hitting stuff, explosions, it just feels so nice. It feels good, it looks good. It just feels like being in a real battle. So with the aircraft carrier, it is a bit of a detached perspective. Basically, you play it like an RTS for your aircraft carrier. So if we look at the moment, what I want to do is get it down to there, because I know it can't be flanked. So let's try to move it to there. We'll use that inlet there as safety against fire coming from there. Okay, so basically for the aircraft carrier, you just direct it where it's going, and then you launch the aircraft. Basically, this bit plays a bit like an RTS. Um, you're telling your units where to go. Right, so what have we got? We've got two aircraft carriers, they've got two aircraft carriers. Right. Don't know how well I upgraded their aircraft carriers are compared to ours. I'm using upgraded fighters. Okay, so it looks like this guy is he's got the carrier mod with the fighters. So he's going fight heavy. Right, that's quite sweet. Um, yeah, you get an 11 second delay between launching each wing of... Oh, that was a nice shoot. Um, launching each wing of fighters and bombers. So I'm going to get my two fighters out. <sighs> okay. Uh, well, sorry, my, my fighter group out. I'll get them to... Ah, there we go. They've got... Coming, so I'll get them to engage. I need them to clear the skies so my torpedo bombers can operate unhindered. So I'll keep them there for now. Hopefully my ally decides to come and assist me in this fight because we're a wee bit outnumbered. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I've shot down two. I'm going to have to dock them. Now I'm going to have to land them. Come on, come on. Be nice if you actually decided to assist. I don't really want him. Okay, so while well, they're engaging, let's get these torpedo bombers up there. So he's wasting his time. No, actually, let's not do that because I don't want those torpedo bombers coming under fire. Although it would be nice if my allies freaking. Okay, so now he's lost a lot of his fighters and he's on the run. That gives us... See, the problem is my ally shouldn't have really bothered to help me there. As nice as it is that he's shooting down their aircraft, we need to concentrate on their bombers because they're going to just drop torpedoes in the water, which are going... And torpedoes in this game are deadly. Um, the torpedoes these things drop do about 5k hit, 5k damage per hit. Um, average ship around level three, I remember. About the average cruiser, Japanese one, I think, was about. No, the American one had about 30k, I think it was. Battleships can have more, have quite a bit. But they drop about quite a few torpedoes. So let's smack these down. We need to wait until we get a decent bombing run with this. Okay. Okay, so these are both going to launch torpedoes. Okay, so that's two sets of torpedoes in the water. We'll get these boys back. And that should... Oh, those are going to wreck. Oh, lucky. But this guy's not lucky at all. So many torpedoes. I think he was in a battleship as well. Um, and also, if he didn't have a repair crew, that would of course flooding, which is will constantly damage him. So as you can see, his hull was constantly taking ticks of that's still taking ticks of damage. Yeah, see, I think the flooding has caused and he hasn't got any repair kits. Um Yep. Credited to me. Because I caused flooding in this hole. Basically, he had no repair kits to. He, this was on cooldown, so he couldn't fix the flooding. So it caused the ship to sink, which is awesome. So that was a successful torpedo bombing. Four torpedoes hit. 
and two of them cause flooding, which is a good result. Um, no, my fighters are still on deck, I think, repairing. I think I lost a couple, so let's get them up. I think they're on deck. Mm. Ah, there they are. So it looks like our team is actually whooping them. Um, Right, so my fighters are out. I'm gonna go and provide our fleet with cover. So basically, it takes around 30 seconds for the um, torpedo bombers to reload. Now, the problem is you have to take into consideration when playing an aircraft carrier is it's all well and good going to find a little corner to hide in, but. Another issue there is if you go and hide down here, you have to assist your team and your planes have to fly a longer way if you're retreating all the way down here. So you've got to take, you can either take a risk and get your aircraft carrier in the fight, which I'm tempted to do actually, or you can keep your aircraft carrier far away from the fight and not. No, we're going too far away. It's going to take too long for my bombers and anything to assist. Because the enemy seems to be staying around their base, so I'm going to launch torpedo bombers. Yeah, you can't get them to the torpedo bombs straight away after they've taken off. It takes 11 seconds, I think it was. So I've got my fighters hanging around here, providing escort to destroyers. I'll get... Right, so these bombers, three and four... Um see they got their fires up here. Um right, so I know where their carriers are. Screw it, let's Right, three is gonna hit that. Four is gonna hit that. Two is going to take care of their fires. So what we're gonna do is now we have position on their aircraft carriers, we're going to do something risky and torpedo them. Our fighters are going to come in and assist. Oh, that is a cluster of torpedoes. Right. Okay, so our boys are on theirs. Now they're not defending very well. And three and four are going to get torpedo. Hopefully, torpedoes off on that. Two are not in the best of conditions, but their mistake is to not target my fighters, which gives me enough time to get the correct position. Both torpedo bombers have got their torpedoes in the water. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. And that is a spread of torpedoes. So hopefully there'll be a few direct hits. Because those carriers are freaking massive. So as you can see, massive, massive damage. Four torpedoes. Alright, I'm out of fighters. But it's not going to take many hits for that destroyer to finish that carrier off. My torpedo bombers did their job. And with that destroyed, the enemy have less. Yes, nice shot. So, with them down, that leaves only him. Right. Okay, that's one carrier down. <laughs> okay, this is not good. I need to move our carrier. Our team's still not doing the best. Yeah, there's us left and a destroyer. Great. 
I have no fire planes left. Hmm, and only a couple of bombers, bulls. You can take care of that carrier. <sighs> Without any more fighters, I can't really do much else. Um, let's move our carrier to the protection of that island uh, full speed. Should be able to get some more torpedoes in the air. Let's get a second set of torpedo bombers out. Ready for takeoff. Crap, this is going to be problematic. I need to move. No, there's too many ships coming in. I need to get these freaking torpedo bombers up as soon as possible. Okay. So, three and. Yeah, shells are coming in now. Some light damage. Come on. I'm not going to be able to kill them. Well, I might be able to cause some severe damage. It's not showing a big enough target to me. Let's see if we can get as much damage as we can and bring her around. But. Alright, so we'll flood the water with torpedoes. He's going to have to take me. Duh. Okay, so. Well, that was unlucky. No torpedoes here. Good driving. We're under, We're under attack. Ugh. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, but the other one. Oh. Son of a bitch. That was some good flying. Oh, good driving, should I say. This thing isn't fast enough to escape. I've got no firepower. Torpedo bombers are... I'm immobilised, great. I need enough time to get this torpedo second set up, but I don't... It's not going to be enough damage. Get up! Oh, I've got fires, I am so screwed. They might be able to do something. Come on. I'm not going to go down that fight. Right. Are you going to drop torpedoes or are you just going to faff about? <sighs> oh yeah, just... F no, don't do that. Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. Well, that was me killed. And that guy hasn't got one. <laughs> he is a zippy little fellow. So I did reasonably okay. Um... Eight torpedo hits, one ship sunk. Not the worst, not the best really, but... Did the trick, this destroyer has no chance. And we lost the game. But, let's have a look at my team score. Uh, so... Yeah, I got... Me and both the carriers did okay. The enemy just did better. Uh, let's have a look what did their carriers get. Yeah, uh, Langley's did okay. Yeah, that one did really well. But yeah, so anyway, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll probably put up a battleship video in the next few days as well.